There are four kinematic equations. This quick tip focuses on applying these equations to projectile motion. So let's think about a projectile launched at an initial velocity v0 and initial angle theta0. That initial velocity has components v0x equal to v0 cosine theta0 and v0y equal to v0 sine theta0. And it'll travel along the path shown here, passing through these points. It's important to remember for a projectile that there's no horizontal component of acceleration, ax equals zero. The y component of acceleration equals minus g minus 9.80 meters per second squared. These are both constant, so we can use the kinematic equations, substituting these values in. Let's look at the horizontal components first. The first and the fourth equations give us, after substituting ax equals zero, that the final x component of velocity equals the initial. There's no change to the horizontal component of velocity in a projectile. The second and third equations tell us the displacement in the horizontal direction, and that's delta x is v naught x times t. If we plot the x components of velocities on the path up here, everywhere the projectile is moving sideways at the same rate. That means if you follow a shadow along the ground, that it moves at a constant speed covering a distance delta x is v naught x times t. In the y direction, substituting ay equals minus g gives these four equations. The first and the fourth tell us about the y component of velocity, which changes constantly in the negative y direction. It's always increasing downward. The second and the third tell us about the vertical component of displacement. So if the projectile begins by moving up with this y component of velocity, sometime later it's traveling more slowly up. When it reaches the peak of its path, vy equals zero, and it continues to change in the negative direction and begins to fall back down. If you look at a shadow cast by a light far to the right on the wall, then that shadow would move up, reach its peak where vy equals zero, and then fall back down, moving in exactly the same way as an object in free fall did when we considered one-dimensional motion.